welcome friends uh, in the last class we have discussed uh, the main cell of nervous system neuron now today we will discuss the supporting cell neuroglia supporting cell of nervous system and this neuroglia in central nervous system it is of four types and in peripheral nervous system it is of two types so peripheral nervous system including autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system so the four types of neuroglia in cns are astrocytes oligodendrocytes okay then microglia and ependymal cells and the two types of neuroglia in pns are swan cells swan cells are also known as new neuro lemocyte and the other cell is satellite cell because like satellite they are located there are satellite cells okay let us discuss one by uh, one um, first astrocytes we have studied the blood brain barrier the barrier which uh, limits the passage of drugs and other exogenous substances into the brain the blood brain barrier so astrocytes are a part of blood brain barrier and these are They, they look like star shaped that's why they are, they are called astrocytes okay they look like stars so they are called astrocytes and what is their function they are part of blood brain barrier okay and they provide a link between so blood brain barrier as you know they um, we have discussed earlier in distribution the barriers to distribution uh, the blood brain barrier the glial cells or astrocytes are there which are part and uh, then the endothelial cells of blood vessels and there is tight intercellular junction This is the characteristic feature of the blood brain barrier: tight intercellular junction between endothelial cells. And then we have the astrocytes or glial cells, and they form a link. Okay. And these astrocytes have another function also: they maintain a proper balance of potassium for generation of nerve impulses. For generation of nerve impulses, they also. maintain a proper balance okay and the oligodendrocytes oligodendrocytes we have already uh, discussed this one uh, the swan cells we have discussed in the um, nervous system uh, introduction class the they provide the myelin sheath okay surrounding the axon they provide the myelin sheath and in cns oligodendrocytes provide and in ans or pns we can say and pns they provide the swan cells okay and oligodendrocytes uh, look like this is like this then the microglia the third type of neuroglia in cns and their main function is phagocytosis so the phagocytosis invading microbes and debris okay, from dead cells also the phagocytosis and they, that means they protect protect cns 
from digits and they look like this This is microglia. And then finally, the fourth one is ependymal cell. And ependymal cells, they line brain ventricles and the central canal of spinal cord. And their main function is cerebrospinal fluid secretion. So they act as a filter medium and they help in secretion of cerebrospinal fluid okay and uh, if we see the structure of these ependymal cells these are like this these are the cilia like this okay so their main function is csf secretion so uh, astrocytes they they form the blood brain barrier and oligodendrocytes they provide the myelin sheath okay and oligodendrocytes uh, gone microglia they help in phagocytis cytosis and protect cns from microbes and uh, epidemiences they help in csf secretion okay now in pns we have two types of neuroglia and the first one is swan cell and swan cell already we have discussed before similar function to uh, oligodendrocytes they provide myelin sheath okay so they provide myelin sheath and the second one is the satellite cells and why they are satellites called satellite cells they are located in the ganglion so ganglion we have already discussed the group of cell bodies outside cns is called ganglion ganglion the group of cell bodies outside cns is called ganglion and how they are located so this is the uh, ganglion then these cells are located like this uh, like satellites moving around planet these are not moving but they are look surrounded surround surround they surround a ganglion this is the ganglion so you can see the cell body of ganglion and these are the supporting cells surrounding this and these are called satellite cells so they support neurons in ganglion so each cell body is surrounded by a number of satellite cells so this is all about neuroglia thank you